Zaphon, the spiritual city of Karite, Adamai, Noahide faith, fall. Okay. Now, Zaphon has a philosophy. And um, it's sort of... Um, lots of religion have philosophy. And lots of institutions have philosophy. And lots of business have philosophy. And Zaphon has a philosophy as well. In the realm of eternity, Zaphon has a philosophy. It, it's the center of the realm of eternity. And um, it's one of the higher towers in the realm of eternity. But there are higher ones. And its, it's philosophy is governed by its, um, the overseers in the, in the Angel Saga, the, the writings and policies which they've shaped for the overseer's office which flows through the mentality of Zaphon and Zephora and the realm of eternity. And essentially it's about rule of spiritual law and rule of political civic law in the way that the royal sort of spiritual authority rules and the political sort of parliamentary authority rules. And it's, it's uh, philosophy is about how those two sort of um, interplay against each other and work in their own right. It's, it's sort of like um, right wing and left wing, in, in a sense. That the right wing is the more traditional sort of um, royal monotheistic biblical sort of way. And the left wing, a more political way, where it's more progressively thinking and advancing. So, the philosophy of Zaphon is that it realizes this reality, and in the in the the arch regent Seraphim Daniel being the the uh, royal authority of the realm of eternity, and in Valandriel the Seraphim being the political authority in the realm of eternity as the prime minister. Daniel's the Archregent. They sort of balance with these two seraphim, they balance the steady legality of the realm of eternity to satisfy the urges and the passions of the philosophies of angel and men. And the, the philosophy in this sense of Zaphon is to try and harmonize how people want to obey and people want to rebel in a sense because when it comes right down to politically of political authorities dealing with those who rebel against the authority of the crown and the authority of god they don't quite ex quite accept it they're more independent and liberal and free thinking it doesn't mean they don't acknowledge the ultimate authority of the almighty or the, the legal traditional ways but they're more independent and free-thinking. They often like to do things their own way. So the philosophy of Zaphon in how the realm of eternity works from the overseers is balancing legal process and legal policy to try and understand, um, to try and harmonize and keep the peace. And that's essentially what Zaphon mostly is all about in its world. It's about keeping the peace in the world so life and happiness and the agendas of of the community can be pursued in a world which is under control. Also it has a strong sense of its responsibility to set an example to the realm of eternity and um, it takes its Torah quite seriously and its legal ad and its legal and ad political administration quite seriously. And it tries to make sure that it it's, uh, main, maintains and that it, 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 the haven of eternity is about one thing indeed, it is about eternity. And that when it comes to being the overseer and safe on, you have to really front up to being everlasting and concentrating that you're not just going to quit and run. Michael was k kicked out to Zionistia because he had too much death wishes in him. Too much proclivity to sinful behavior 
and they kicked him down to Zionistia. Cerugil had him kicked out in the end, arranged that because he didn't think Michael was that tough. And Michael the Seraphim wasn't that tough in the end. He was faithful to start with, but then he'd do his own thing because he got a bit proud. And uh, whereas Daniel and Valandrel, they, they ain't no quitters. They maintain the status quo. And the, the evening stars generally felt that those two would be the appropriate choices. So didn't really argue with their ambitions as time passed on. So the philosophy of Zaphon is realizing power and choices in men, men and angels and the way they think and having enough intelligence to be able to administer that and maintain ordering the world. So the philosophy ultimately of Zaphon is maintaining order in the world. 